Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. We are continuing with Ernst on the conjunctions of Saturn with other planets. We are done with Sun and Moon, and now the other planets. Okay, so Saturn, Sun. Um, it's a tough one too. All Saturn, Moon, Saturn, <laughs> Sun, Saturn, Mars are part of the toughest three Saturn conjunctions you're going to have. Okay. Well, with Saturn, Mars. Um, one thing to be aware of is that the immune system of the person is not really well. So the person will have more sickness growing up. They're also very susceptible to damage from vaccines, okay, um, because their, their immune response is just not, um, not as healthy. And we have to have a healthy immune response to vaccines to not be damaged by the vaccine. So there's more chance of these people being damaged by vaccines. Um, especially if Rahu's conjunct too. If you have a kid with Rahu, Saturn, Mars conjunction, I say don't vaccinate no matter what because there's a good chance your child will be very damaged from it. Um, okay, so the whole response system is damaged. So, you know, Mars is really our instinctive response on a, on a, on a neuromuscular level and also on an immune level for our body to respond in a way that helps us avoid any threat um you know instinctively so not being able to do that a saturn moon conjunction person is always hurting themselves okay or they're clumsy they might be clumsy but they oftentimes will just hurt themselves a lot um, from early on they will stub their toes cut themselves with knives bump their heads and later in life they'll crash cars you know whatever um, they constantly are hurting themselves usually because that instinctive response of Mars to protect itself, to know where something is that you might hit your head on is, is not really clear. And so they just hurt themselves more. The sign that Saturn Mars conjunction falls in is likely at some point in life to become a damaged body part. Okay, so like Gemini is the arm. So with Saturn Mars there, there's a greater chance of injuring their arm somehow. Um, so on a very physical level, these people are struggling more on a physical level. The moon, Saturn people are struggling very much on an emotional level. Saturn, Mars on a physical level. Now, the other thing that's going on though, is Mars is how we express what's in our consciousness. What's in our consciousness is the moon, right? The moon is our conscious mind. How we express what's in our consciousness, how we act with, on what's on our consciousness is Mars. So if, and that's why Mars, num planet number three, follows planet number two, which is the moon. So if Saturn's with Mars, there are expressing what's in our consciousness, acting on what's on our consciousness is frustrating. So the person usually has someone in their life who's domineering them, who doesn't allow them or isn't okay with them doing certain things. So the person might have a desire or want or need and they, you know, they want to do it. It's in their mind. They want to do it. And a parent scolds them for it, criticizes them for it. It doesn't allow them to do it. So they, the will eventually becomes stunted. Their will literally gets stunted. And they're not allowed to do what they want to do. Even good things that they want to do, they're not allowed to do. The result of that is in life, everything requires effort, right? You know, everything requires an act of will. And these people grow up with their will being frustrated by some authority figure. So now, even when those authority figures are gone, when they try to do something and things are difficult, there's the point where whatever we do in life starts getting complicated. At that point, it's very hard for them to stay logic and calm, you know, calm and logical and figure out how to make things work. Because the feelings, the immature feelings of of not being able to do what they wanted come back. And so they start feeling frustrated inside and, and confused inside. And so they have a really hard time maintaining um, a calm logic in the face of difficulties that is used for solving problems. You know, Mars is a planet that we use whenever there's a problem to what we want to do in our lives. And when that problem comes, these people can easily become overwhelmed. They can panic. They can just go into a state of shock where they react. They just don't even react to the problem. I saw one mother one time her baby, her one-year-old fell into a pool, like fell into a pool of water. And of course, the instinct of the mother, which is to jump into the water right away and grab the child. Um, but this mother just froze 
because the instinctive response is slowed with Saturn. They just went into a state of, of shock for a few, several seconds before they were able to even move and think about what would happen with a child, where a Saturn Mars that, a, a person with a nice Mars that wasn't with Saturn would be in that water instantly. But um, so that response is delayed or not healthy, not a response that doesn't work, okay? So when a person's driving a car and all of a sudden another car comes from the left, they just slam their brakes on in a way that causes an accident. They don't have the instinctive response to avoid the other car, things like that. So they get more accidents in their lives. Um, but even just problems in their life, like, oh, I'm having a problem with my boss. I'm having a problem at work. I'm having a problem fixing my juicer. I'm having a problem with my relationship. Whenever there's a problem, it's much more easier for them to get, feel frustrated and not know how to calmly and logically solve the problem. And so um, when we get frustrated, we can throw a temper. So these people can get very frustrated. They can throw a temper at times. Their temper is rarely directed at other people though. Okay, they rarely will hurt other people. They get really frustrated with themselves and they, they're more inclined to punch themselves on the leg or the arm or beat their head against the wall or break something of theirs that they love when they're having a temper tantrum than they're ever inclined to actually hurt somebody else. Okay, their anger is very self-directed. They're constantly punishing themselves in a frustrated way. Even the accidents they have are signals that they're frustrated about something that they couldn't do. And so now that frustration attracts this accident. So they are more accident prone, especially if you find it in Sagittarius, you get serious accidents then. Um, so the person's very frustrated with themselves because they don't know how to apply themselves in a way to get past the hard things in life. And everything we do in life has a hard aspect to it, a challenge to it, an obstacle that has to be overcome. And that's when we're supposed to use Mars and calmly and logically resolve the problem. But the Saturn Mars person gets frustrated, overwhelmed, panics, goes into shock, any of those things. And so it's a much more struggle for them to just deal with the basic things in life, you know, to deal with everything in life. Um, it's a combination just like the sun and moon to Saturn that ends up affecting everything in life somehow because everything in life has a problem attached to it. And when that problem comes, the person can get frustrated. Um, so eventually, though, they be, learn to become more patient. They suffer from impatience. All the time, they're feeling impatient. I got to do something. I got to do something. But eventually, they learn to become more calm and patient, and they learn to realize that it just takes time for things to happen. I have to just be patient. Things come in time. I'll figure out the solution in time. And they'll learn little strategies like to just um, one step at a time. Don't look at the whole problem. That's too overwhelming. But what part of the problem do I have to deal with right now? And if they just deal with the part of the problem they have to deal with right now, it won't be so overwhelming. Um, and so, yeah, that's basically the essence of a Saturn-Mars conjunction. Whatever sign it's in, the person will lack in that sign. So you can take the sign that ruled by the planet. So Venus, for instance, is a planet of worldly fulfillment. Saturn-Mars there will make them frustrated in their worldly fulfillment. The Leo, the sun sign, is a, is a sign of your kingdom, the world you build. They'll be frustrated in trying to build their lives, the world they live in. In Cancer, the frustration will revolve around how to get emotionally nourished, because that's the moon. In the sign of um, Mercury, there's frustration will revolve around um, them fulfilling their, um, making their plans work, fulfilling their, their responsibilities. Um, planning their lives effectively. There'll be a lot of stress in the context of simply um, managing their day-to-day -day lives, planning their time, planning their lives. Um, and they also might have, you know, struggles with friends, okay, and people like that. In the signs of Jupiter, the Saturn-Mars conjunction ends up making them feel at a loss or very frustrated with activating what they see as their most important purpose, something that gives them their life a sense of meaning and be frustrated. Um, in the Saturn sign, their survival needs can be frustrated. The things they need to stay healthy and well can be um, frustrated, and, and they'll be overwhelmed by those things usually. Okay? Yeah, and generally I've also seen with this that there's a lot of, there's a lot of friction, and sometimes they are like, maybe I'm not supposed to be in this place. Like if this happens in 
the second, mm-hmm. sixth, uh, tenth, or the eleventh houses. I have seen that they think that maybe I am doing something wrong for my finances or in my career, which I should not do. That yeah. I observed. Yeah, the Saturn Mars conjunction really beats themselves up. They hurt themselves, but they also beat themselves with being really critical and hard on themselves. I'm doing it the wrong way. I should be doing better. I should be doing it a different way. They're they just don't have a peace with how they're doing things. So you bet, they will feel in the wrong place, doing it the wrong way, doing the wrong thing. They'll feel that a lot because they just don't know how to get what they're trying to do work. So it starts feeling like the wrong thing if it doesn't work. Because as humans, we feel if something, if we're supposed to be doing it, should work in a natural way. The Saturn-Mars conjunction person, the ability for things to work in a natural way has been robbed and they have to really struggle much harder to make things work. And um, so they do have a, it does feel to them that they're in a battle zone their whole life. They're constantly struggling to make things work the way they should work. And that can be really frustrating and exhausting too, you know? Yeah. And one more thing I want to ask you is like, generally I have seen this, if the same uh, traits playing out, if Saturn and Mars aspect a single planet or any house together, like suppose Saturn and they are aspecting, Mm -hmm. So have you seen uh, the same kind of results if that is there? Yeah, when you get Saturn and Mars conjuncting a house, Mars breaks the house and Saturn separates you from the house. So then you can get a lot of trouble in the house. On the other hand, if you get Mars and Venus both aspecting the house, they can marry very much further a house, believe it or not. Okay. Um, But Saturn and Mars both influencing the same house definitely make that a frustrating house for a person. Okay, so we'll move on to Saturn, Venus, maybe now. <laughs> uh, let's do Saturn, Mercury. Let's do it in order. Okay. Planet. okay, so Saturn, Mercury is a nicer conjunction. The reason is we won't get into it now, but Mercury helps Saturn. He's a friend to Saturn, so he'll help Saturn, but Saturn always hurts any planets with with. with. So Mercury still gets beat up, but at least in, a, in, in exchange, you get some, a better Saturn. 